At any moment, any one of us might be called upon to try to change the course of events. We begin in Texas City, Texas on April 10th, 1994, where Candy and Arnold Sanchez had come with their family, expecting to spend a relaxing day at the beach. How are you guys feeling? Are you hungry? Since it was windy, my brother had tied the float to the truck so that the wind wouldn't take it. Oh, you guys eat all your lunch. Then he said, the float, no one touch it. So we knew, everybody knew not to touch it. I didn't bring tortillas. Por qué no, amiga? Tortillas and those bologna sandwiches, Ralph. I had told my son, little Arnold, and Martin, my nephew, I don't go into the water because I don't know how to swim. Arnold oh, Jr. is very nice. We like to build puzzles a lot and we like to play basketball. Where's Salina? Salina? I feel bad because we probably had no business going in the water without permission. I heard Martin yell, help. <gasps> oh my God. And I looked toward the water. I saw Martin and Arnold floating. Just stay right there. I'm coming to get you. Go get Arnold. Go get Arnold. My reaction was, I'm going to get those boys. They're going to get a whipping. They're going to not be able to watch cartoons for a long time because they were told to leave the raft alone. I really thought I was going to be able to get to them. Martin had gotten scared because I had said that I was going to spank them. He jumped out. Martin! Martin, hold on! Martin! Martin's drowning, so I went for him first. And Arnold was crying, he said, Are you not going to help me, Mommy? And I said, Arnold, stay there. We're going to get help. Arnold Sr. tried to swim out to his son. I took off at an angle. I figured I could swim out and catch him before he went too far. He had drifted much further, and he can't swim at all. He didn't even have a life check. What was going through my mind was that I wasn't going to reach him. I knew I couldn't. It was real hard because I watched my son just float away from me. When we